The Titanomachy is a fundamental tale in Greek mythology, depicting the epic battle between the Titans and the Olympian gods for supremacy over the cosmos. The conflict is pivotal in Greek mythology as it marks the transition from the rule of the Titans to the reign of the Olympians. This clash was a battle of cosmic proportions, shaping the very fabric of the universe and setting the stage for the establishment of Mount Olympus as the divine seat of power. The tale begins with the primordial deities known as the Titans who were the children of Gaia, Mother Earth and Uranus, the heavens. Uranus feared his children and imprisoned them within the earth, causing Gaia great pain. In response, Gaia sought her son Cronus's assistance to overthrow Uranus. Cronus, the youngest Titan, used a sickle provided by Gaia to castrate Uranus, thus dethroning him and casting him out. Following Uranus's fall, Cronus assumed the throne, but he too became paranoid about losing power. He swallowed his children but his wife and sister Rhea managed to save their youngest son, Zeus, by hiding him and presenting a stone wrapped in swaddling cloth to Cronus. Zeus grew in secret on the island of Crete, guided by the nymphs and protected by Gaia. Zeus, now an adult, led a rebellion against his father and the Titans. He was joined by his siblings, Poseidon, Hades, Hestia, Hera and Demeter, along with other gods, notably Prometheus and Epimetheus, and the Hecatonchires, which were hundred-handed giants, and the Cyclopes. With the aid of his allies, Zeus challenged the Titans in a gruelling war, known as the Titanomachy. The battleground was the very fabric of existence, with the earth trembling and the heavens echoing with the clash of titanic forces. The Titans were formidable adversaries, with Cronus, Oceanus, Hyperion, Creus, Iapetus, Themis, Menomosyne, and Rhea leading their ranks. They were also supported by many other Titans, among them Atlas, Prometheus's brother, who sided with the Titans. The war raged on for a decade, a cosmic struggle that involved unimaginable forces, with the gods using immense weapons and elemental powers. Zeus wielded his mighty thunderbolts, Poseidon wielded his trident, and Hades had his helm of darkness. The Hecatonchires rained down boulders from the heavens, and the Cyclopes provided the gods with powerful weapons. The battles were fierce and intense, with neither side yielding easily. The fate of the cosmos hung in the balance, as victory for the Titans would mean a continuation of their rule and the suppression of the Olympians. However, the gods of Olympus had the support of the prophecy, which foretold their eventual triumph. Additionally, Prometheus, a Titan himself, switched allegiances and sided with the Olympians, providing them with crucial intelligence about the Titans' plans and strategies the tide of the war turned when the Hecaton Ceres were released from Tartarus and joined the Olympian cause, providing immense strength and power. With their help, the Olympians gained the upper hand, and a decisive battle was fought at Mount Othrys, the seat of the Titans' power. In this climactic confrontation, Zeus engaged Cronus in a fierce duel finally managing to overpower him with the aid of his lightning bolts. The other Olympians fought valiantly, each clashing with their respective Titan counterparts. The struggle was gruelling, and the skies were ablaze with celestial fury. Zeus, armed with his powerful lightning bolts, fought valiantly against his father Cronus. The battle was fierce, and had lightning streaking across the sky as the heavens trembled. Zeus, determined to free his siblings from their father's belly, summoned his immense strength and cunning. He managed to overpower Cronus, forcing him to regurgitate the swallowed siblings, Poseidon, Hades, Hera, Hestia and Demeter. Atlas, a titan, was punished for his role in the Titanomachy. After the titans were defeated, Zeus condemned Atlas to hold up the heavens for eternity as punishment for his actions. Ultimately, the Olympians emerged victorious, and most of the defeated Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, the deepest abyss of the underworld. Zeus became the supreme ruler of the cosmos, 
with Mount Olympus established as the divine seat of power. The Titanomachy marked the end of the Age of Titans and the beginning of the Age of the Olympians, establishing a new order in the Greek pantheon. Poseidon, wielding his mighty trident, engaged in a ferocious duel with Oceanus, the titan of the ocean and rivers. Poseidon showcased his dominion over the seas, using his trident to create massive waves and fierce storms to overwhelm Oceanus. Hades, the lord of the underworld, confronted his titan counterpart, Cronus's brother, Iapetus. The battle took place in the shadows and depths of the earth, where Hades harnessed his dominion over the realm of the dead. He used his helm of darkness to cloak himself, making himself nearly invisible and striking Iapetus when it was least expected. Prometheus, a titan himself, had initially sided with his brethren. However, as the war unfolded, he foresaw the inevitable victory of the Olympians due to a prophecy that foretold their success. Seeing the turning tides, Prometheus made a significant and daring decision to switch his allegiance. Prometheus was known for his cleverness and foresight. He had the gift of prophecy and understood that the Olympians were destined to rule. His allegiance shift was driven by his desire to align with the ultimate victors and avoid the retribution that would follow for the losing side. Prometheus shared critical information with Zeus and the Olympians, including the prophecy and strategic insights into the Titans' plans and weaknesses. This intelligence proved instrumental in the later stages of the war, enabling the Olympians to devise effective strategies and gain the upper hand. As the war reached its climax, the Olympians, bolstered by the intelligence provided by Prometheus and reinforced by the strength of the Hecaton Chires, and the craftsmanship of the Cyclopes managed to overpower the Titans. In the final battle, Zeus unleashed a devastating display of his power, decimating the Titan forces. He cast Cronus and the other defeated Titans into Tartarus, a deep abyss within the underworld, ensuring they could never threaten the cosmic order again. The aftermath of the Titanomachy marked a new era. The reign of the Olympian gods, led by Zeus, atop Mount Olympus. It was a testament to the resilience, courage and cunning of the Olympians, coupled with the strategic insights of Prometheus that shaped the destiny of the Greek pantheon and the very fabric of the cosmos. After the Titanomachy, the twelve original Elder Titans faced various fates, reflecting the outcomes of the war and the shift in power from the Titans to the Olympian gods. Here's what happened to each of them. Cronus, the leader of the Titans and the father of Zeus, was defeated by Zeus in the final battle. He was subsequently imprisoned in Tartarus, a deep abyss in the underworld, along with the other defeated Titans. Oceanus was not condemned to Tartarus. He continued to exist as a primordial deity and represented the vastness of Earth's oceans. Hyperion, the Titan of Light, was defeated in the Titanomachy and imprisoned in Tartarus along with his brethren. Iapetus, Creus, the Titan of Heavenly Constellations. Themis, the Titaness of Divine Law and Order. Phoebe, the Titaness of Prophecy and Intellect. Thea, the Titaness of Sight and Shining Light. And Menomolzani, the Titaness of Memory, met the same fate as Hyperion, being imprisoned in Tartarus after the war. Tethys, the titaness of fresh water and mother of the rivers, was not directly involved in the battle and hence was not imprisoned. She continued to exist as a primordial deity representing the seas. Rhea, the titaness and wife of Cronus, was also defeated in the war. She was not imprisoned in Tartarus but lived out her days in obscurity. Atlas, the titan forced to carry the heavens on his shoulders, was a key figure in the Titanomachy. After the war, he was condemned by Zeus to bear the weight of the celestial sphere on his shoulders for eternity as punishment for leading the Titans in the battle against the Olympians. The Titanomachy marked the end of the reign of the Titans and the rise of the Olympian gods, establishing a new cosmic order led by Zeus and his siblings on Mount Olympus. 
And that is it for today's recap of the Titanomachy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment telling us what you might want to hear next. Also, if you are interested in learning more on your own, I have linked the Amazon page to one of my favorite mythology summary books that I find myself going back to and reading often in the description. Thank you for watching.